So mm -hmm. I think something like that is going on here. Yeah. And I think in Little Man, there's a scene where Daisy, she admires her brother a lot. Like she adores Demi. Yes. And then she's always taking care of him. Like she mm -hmm. brings him food. She irons his clothes and whatever. Daisy yeah. does all these things. And Daisy likes to do that. Daisy's very girly girl she's very maternal but then yeah. she also does that because Demi is her brother and she loves her brother and I feel the same with Joe and Laurie sometimes yeah definitely now I must go and prepare Mr. Lawrence to to be very kind to my poor boy I wish he loved Beth perhaps he may in time but I begin to think I was mistaken about her oh dear how can girls like to have lovers and refuse them I think it's dreadful being sure that no one could do it so well as herself, she went straight to Mr. Lawrence, told the hard story bravely through, and then broke down, crying so dismally over her own insensibility that the kind old gentleman, though sorely disappointed, did not utter a reproach. He found it difficult to understand how any girl could help loving Lori and hoped she would change her mind, but he knew even better than Joe that love cannot be forced. So he shook his head sadly and resolved to carry his boy out of harm's way. For young impetuosity's parting words to Joe disturbed him more than he would confess. You know, this reminds me too of one of the other things I liked about the 1933 version was I feel like they did a better job of presenting Mr. Lawrence as having the good heart he actually had. Mm -hmm. I feel like some other versions, I especially think, I think it may have been the anime version that came out in the 80s. I thought that Mr. Lawrence seemed scary and it seemed like Lori thought he was scary and everybody was afraid of him. And mm. but like when you're reading the book, he's really is kind. He just is a little bit strict. Yeah. It's interesting because when I was a child and I would read little woman, I kind of thought that Mr. Lawrence was very scary, but then mm -hmm. Later on, I thought that he's actually very nice and gentle. And yeah. then I didn't really get why he and Lori were arguing so much until I understood more of that thing with his parents. He's a very kind and gentle soul. And I think there's some parallel to Aunt March there because he has lost all his family members except Lori. And then yeah. Aunt March has lost her husband and her child. She's bitter for the world because of that. Well, I think Amy is really the one that can soften Aunt March. Mr. Lawrence, he really loves his grandson. And I really like that in the 1978 series, there is a moment when Laurie, when he's in the billiard hall, and then his grandfather finds him and then they start fighting. The next day, Laurie goes back home and he tells that, oh, Mr. March is wounded and he's going to need our help. And there's this moment when the grandfather wants to give him a hug. But Laurie, mm -hmm. he crosses his hands like, mm -hmm. I don't want you to touch me. You have, mm -hmm. you have insulted me. But then it also shows that how difficult that relationship is because Laurie can't get the affection from him that he craves. He gets that yeah. from Joe, that petting. Yeah. Thank you so much for listening. A link to the full episode, I Hurt Myself If You Say No, Red Flags in Lover's Proposal, is in the description. Take care and make good choices. Bye.